Hey everyone, uh, so it's been a month since I've come back uh, to YouTube and I uh, just thought I'd make a something of an update video just to kind of share some some thoughts um, just to let you know how I'm how I'm going with things uh, basically when I came back I had no expectations um, I had like 700 subscribers uh, at the time but I just assumed because I'd been gone for so long um, I basically assumed that all of my subscribers would either have moved on or coming back because my content now is so different to what it was back before um, I just assumed people would kind of check out and you know not be interested but um, and I think for the most part that has definitely happened but um, it has been great seeing some old faces uh, and, and reconnecting with some people which which has been really 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 good to see uh, and connecting with a whole lot of new people as well um, and uh, I'm, I mean I'm not sure if you know these numbers are good or anything but I've, I've gained 16 new subscribers since since coming back um, which again having zero expectations um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that um, same with the views uh, that I've been able to to get I've got no idea whether these are good but 3,000 on, on my analytics as of today and watch time uh, 28.5 hours so again you tell me if that's good I've got no idea been out of this too long but um yeah, and most of those views have um, come from shorts, uh, which again, showing my ignorance here, um, shorts weren't even a thing when when I first started doing YouTube, so uh, it's, it's been interesting experimenting with that, um, just because they've been something of like a filler uh, content for me. Uh, they're, they're a really good way to post daily, and I mean, let's be real, they're, they're pretty low effort. <laughs> they're basically just me getting new PRs in the gym, which uh, I do enjoy doing and like I, I, I go to the gym anyway, all, all I do is just point the camera when I do my first working set of each exercise now, that's pretty much the only difference and then I upload it and some people watch. But I've noticed they've been a bit hit and miss. Uh, it's definitely a favorite amongst YouTube's algorithm at the moment and I don't know how long it's been like that. I think they're definitely trying to compete with uh, you know, TikTok, Instagram, those that, that really short form type videos. So yeah, that, that's been interesting coming back and, and doing that. Because uh, the, the larger videos, or the longer ones I should say, um, do still take a couple of hours to, to uh, you know, I script, you know, some dot points and um, try to get some idea of what I'm going to say and um, then recording and then editing. Nowhere near, obviously, as much as some of the videos I used to post back in the day. Um, I, I could only get out like one video a week tops back then. Now I can pretty much crank it out quite well. And I'm, hap I'm pretty happy with the pace, actually. Like, I'll, I'll keep trying to, to um, stick to, to what I'm doing at the moment um, and see how it goes. Uh, from, for the most part, all, all the feedback has, has been really encouraging and like I said I've really enjoyed connecting with um, some of the new people uh, in, in the YouTube space um, and on that note actually I'd like to give um, uh, some shout outs to three channels in particular who've, uh, who I, I've watched a lot of their content and they seem to be watching some of mine as well uh, those being Nathan Salapong, uh, Andrew W and Cruz Antwi um, all of them have similar content like in the um, personal development space and just from what I can see like they're just really stand out genuine people as well so uh, if you if you haven't heard of them or haven't seen their stuff before I'd highly recommend going over and giving a watch giving a, a subscribe to them they've been really good and um, there's a few others a few other channels that I've been trying to watch more of as well I'll, I'll just show them on the on the screen as I as I walk along but um, yeah and I, I'd love to be able to do collaborations with some of you in the future um, even just you know short interviews uh, just talking about your experience with not just YouTube but uh, with personal development as well I'd love to hear more about your stories and um, yeah because we, we all relate to different people and I think that's something that's really 
special about the personal development space on YouTube because you've got the bigger channels um, and, and they're all well and good and they all offer excellent advice but I, I personally I find a lot of them a lot of them are retired millionaires like they don't have the same problems we have <laughs> like, let's be real um, so it's, it's good to get to know smaller channels who just are a lot more relatable and a lot more down-to-earth I find and a lot more friendly and you can talk to them and exchange ideas a lot more freely um, so, so that's something I've really enjoyed um, it, it is also something that it's, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because as I said I'd, I've really enjoyed that and I, I like connecting with with new people and learning from them and from their experiences but I do I have noticed ever since I've come back and started posting videos again and I've never been into social media uh, YouTube's the only one I have I don't mess with Twitter Facebook Instagram TikTok like none of that but I do see like how easy it is to fall into the trap of because every time I upload a video the first few hours afterwards I'm like constantly checking like constantly refreshing going oh you know how many people have, have watched it how many views does it have how many likes how many comments and it really messes with your brain and particularly us in the personal development space it it we're, hypocrites a bit of a strong word and there's just a gust of wind coming in so I apologize but I should have I should have done this on a better day anyway hypocrites not the right word but it is a bit rich of us to tell people, oh, you know, you shouldn't be addicted to social media, and yet we're kind of the gateway drug people to that addiction, if that makes sense. Because uh, we're doing it ourselves. So that's something I'm quite vig vigilant of and uh, trying not to fall into the trap of. So I'm just going to have to implement a strategy going forward. Because again, I, I really love watching content from new people and coming on here and you know seeing the comments talking to you guys and interacting but it's just I, I feel like it can become really time consuming and um, not that it has yet um, but I can see it being a huge productivity drain in the future and um, a way for me to spend time away from my family uh, which I don't want uh, ultimately I came back and I wanted to set this up to not only <laughs> little little pug anyway um yeah I came back because I, I want to be able to like spread a better positive message not just for myself going forward um, and for future generations but um, also reminders to myself so I don't ever slip back but if I start developing bad habits as, as a result of trying to cultivate good habits then what's the point you know so anyway that's just something I want to keep an eye on um, but yeah like I said overall I'm, I'm the winds coming in again overall pretty happy with with how things are going like I said I, I'd, I'd like to boost up some of the views on on my normal videos not just have shorts be the the dominant force but we'll see and yeah both funnily and sadly my most popular video has actually been one of my old ones uh, coming back uh, the Shaggy versus the the biker gang so yeah that's YouTube for you just we're all a bunch of dopamine addicts in the end aren't we so yeah what can you do um, but no like I said re really enjoying things overall I'm gonna keep going uh, I've got a I've got a heap of video ideas banked up for the future I've got a heap of shorts so yeah, thanks honestly for sticking around so far. If you're new, if you're old, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, welcome and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you again in the future. All the best.